Every year, hundreds of new bale barons are delivered to hay producers across the world. From Australia and New Zealand, to the UK, Europe, and across the United States and Canada, bale barons have completely changed the way small square bales are handled. Since its first prototype, the bale baron has been continuously reimagined and refined to create the best product possible. Both engineering and manufacturing processes have been critical in producing the bale baron to its high level of quality that is consistent across every unit. This is the story of how raw steel is transformed into the world's most popular bale bundling system and how each Marcrest customer receives their own customized bale baron, built to order and guaranteed to perform. I'm founder and president of Marcrest Manufacturing. At the start, I wore all the hats, but as the company grew, I had to delegate and we've been blessed with putting a team of great people together to help with managing the business and uh, getting the product out there. Although the Bale Baron is produced by Marcrest, the journey doesn't start there. A big part of Marcrest's success is their strong relationship with supply chain partners. Dotted across the countryside of southwestern Ontario is a network of integrated suppliers responsible for many of the parts, welding, and painting that make up the Bale Baron. One of those suppliers is Andrew Barnes from Barnes Metal Products. Andrew's company cuts and forms an array of Bale Baron parts using CNC laser cutters, brake presses, and other metal fabricating tools. It keeps them busy and it keeps the parts rolling in for the next Bale Baron to be assembled. About 30 minutes away, Wilfred Weidman is also overseeing the production of Bale Baron parts at Mint Grade, another trusted Marcrest partner. Today, Wilfred's team is welding twine boxes that will be installed on the sides of the Bale Baron. Both Barons and Minkrate prepare trailer loads of parts that are scheduled to be shipped out by the end of the day. Before these parts arrive at the main Marcrest assembly plant outside Listowel, Ontario, they make a stop at the powder coating facility for that trademark look, Marcrest glistening deep red. Here at Sandian, it's always a bustling hive of activity, preparing, coating and baking the steel components with a protective and flawless finish. Sandian has developed their own proprietary process for washing the parts using a solution that is not harmful to the environment and still produces a first-class paint job. At the same time as powder coating, the welding team at Marcrest's plant in Fordwich, Ontario is actively fabricating the Bale Baron's chassis. Each piece of the frame fits together like a giant puzzle using engineered jigs. This process is part of the quality assurance system where every piece is placed exactly where it belongs on every bale baron. After the frame is fitted and welded, an acid rinse and washdown happens, and soon it also becomes shiny red. What will eventually become fully functioning bale barons leave the four wedge plant and arrive on the east side of Marcrest assembly plant ready for the next step. Inside, team members work in squads to complete all the necessary tasks in the right order to produce the next Bale Baron. Cornelius leads the heavy assembly area where all the major components are installed. While Cornelius and his team finish their part, the yard crew is selectively picking parts to create customized kits containing the components to be installed next during final assembly. Moving across the shipping aisle, the Bale Baron is now ready to be fitted with everything it needs to do the job of packing 21 small square bales into tightly tied bundles. Shop foreman Henry Jansen is constantly tracking with the electrical department, assembly and shipping to make sure no one misses a beat and that each customer's unique Bale Baron stays on time. Tucked away in their brightly lit work area is Tim Brubaker and the electrical assembly team they are responsible for knitting together the central nervous system that operates the Bale Baron. Stringing and connecting a web of cables, switches, and controls, Tim and the team are meticulous about accuracy and test each assembly prior to approving it for installation. Back on the floor, another challenge awaits. 
and it's just as daunting. With approximately 600 individual pieces, the Nodder assembly is the most complicated mechanical component of the entire bale baron. Carefully and methodically, the Nodder is delicately pieced together like a large wristwatch full of gears, levers, and sprockets. Getting this right determines the smooth timing required for tying each bundle of bales together. Lining the assembly bays, there are bale barons at all different stages of completion. Yet Henry knows each machine has a shipping deadline that keeps inching closer. The final assembly team knows exactly what needs to be done to keep the delivery schedule on track and their customers happy. It is here that the hydraulic lines are added. The main manifold is installed. Electrical wiring is harnessed to each switch, sensor, and light. The ISOBUS control panel is connected. Doors are hung and weather stripping is adhered. The nodder is mounted up top and all the shields and guards are secured. Options ordered by the customer are also fitted, such as the PTO pump kit. Helping the customer start off on the right foot, the first spools of twine are even laced into the machine, ready to create its first bundle. It is then run through a number of tie cycles, and the nodder and needle settings are tweaked as necessary. Lastly, the Marcrest and Bale Baron decals are applied for that perfect finishing touch. The Bale Baron is now complete, but it's not ready to ship out just yet. Each Bale Baron must first pass its final inspection. With over 100 points of review, the Bale Baron is run through its paces to make sure that every single function behaves as expected. Both the Bale Baron's manual and auto cycles are fully tested, ensuring the electronics, electrical, and hydraulic systems are in check. If all systems are go, the Bale Baron receives its final stamp of approval. It is now field ready and cleared to ship. For overseas delivery, the Bale Baron is shipped inside a 40-foot sea container. Although that may sound big, the Bale Baron barely fits. Making it work requires disassembling and densely packing all the components tightly together. With an inch clearance on either side of the box and steel wheels to keep it low, the Bale Baron is surgically inserted into the sea can. For North American deliveries, flatbed trucks are the best mode of transportation. Handling the final delivery to Marcrest dealers across the United States and Canada is Marlon Gingrich at Grand Ridge Carriers. Grand Ridge specializes in flatbed trucking and has established a trusted relationship with Marcrest since before the first Bale Baron was built. Once loaded and strapped down, one final check is completed and the truck drivers have the papers they need to hit the road. Another Bale Baron is out the door and another hay producer is about to experience a whole new way of handling small square bales. When I see a bale baron in the field, I think, that's cool. I know the people who built it. I know the work that went into it. I know what it does. I know who owns it. I know when it got there. Also, when I see a bale baron in the field, I'm humbled to be part of this big Marquess story of all these bale barons everywhere I think what excites me the most about the future of Marcrest is the opportunity that our company has to grow the company with innovative new products and engaging new people as the company grows and helping out our local community. From the heartland of Ontario agriculture to the hay fields around the world, the Bale Baron's story is so much more than parts, welding and electronics. Since 2007, the Bale Baron has woven its way into the livelihoods of hay producers everywhere. It's now part of their stories. Some are about improving large-scale production. For others, it's simply about extending their farming careers. The simple act of bundling small square bales has changed the lives of many, and making hay will never be the same. Marcrest is about building, building quality products, and building lasting relationships, now and into the future.